Right, making progress here. Look, see, axle back on. It's not actually fully properly on. I've just all I've done is I just simply put the U-bolts in place so as to uh, fasten it up. And it's actually you, know, you can see it's on the axle stands. It actually is resting on those more or less. I mean, I've, I've got this here just sort of as extra security so it doesn't roll around. And uh, yeah, took that out. So I've got a cross member out. But cop for a look at this, right? Look at that. You see in there? That's like a solid block of something. I don't know if it's steel or if it's aluminium. And I don't think it's actually something that bears any weight. I think it's just to weigh bow down this axle, right? It's, uh, uh, right? It's a block of something. I'll stick a magnet on it later. But that cut through it, no problem at all. I was like, I was feeling a bit of resistance. I thought, oh, it's just a little bit thicker or something. You know, I didn't realise there was a big chunk of frigging metal inside it. Unbelievable. If it's a weight, it's like one of these, and that's steel. <clears throat> there you go, you get a better picture of it there. Look at that, isn't it? And it just cuts straight through. That saw, right, which is just a glorified wood saw with a, with a better blade in it, freaking straight through it. It was like, oh, it's just a little bit of extra resistance. I couldn't believe it. It's gone through that block, no problem. Unbelievable. Anyway, so you can see what I'm getting at now. Look, see, axle is now facing upwards. So we can fasten something to that axle now. See? Uh, the electric motor can go on that now. I'll have to create something, and obviously I'll have to make up for the fact that I've cut through a chassis member. I don't think that's actually uh, a strengthening part. I think it's just for weight, because it doesn't appear to be attached at the ends. Anyway, we'll see, because I'll probably just slide it out. In fact, it has moved out slightly. So I think it's, it's just loose inside, and it's just something that's just there for the weight. It's not there for the strength. You know, pretty strong obviously but they just don't tack it together because they've got all these weights in it as well you see and they had another weight just about here somewhere which I took out when I put tow bar in yeah but the business you know it's coming together lost a bit of gear oil there but hey shook some more in afterwards I'll stick a glove or something over it but we're getting there aren't we we've got the axle round everything's still attached the brakes and everything are still attached you know I just twisted the brake pipe round and it's quite happy you know, once I get in the vertical position, should be fine. And then I just need to tie those on. I've got some extra bits to go on, which are here, to go on there to clamp them properly. I have to clamp them tight. I took a, a bolt out. There's a bolt sticking down, which I took out. And uh, it's just that the, the leaves are just loose. But I can always just, you know, crack it and just put a bolt through somewhere else if I need to, to drill it out. But it's good enough. And uh, yeah, and we're getting ready for uh, having an electric motor fit to it. I was almost going to put the tyres on it, the wheels on it, but I think right now it'll roll around too much, it'll just slide too much on the springs. So I'm not going to do that just yet. We need to calculate the gear ratio as well for the uh, diff. That'll do. Yeah. That's cool. Now I'll take a shot from outside, make it easier to see you all. So there's the axle, yeah, and it's fastened on, it's just not fastened on securely, you know, I can, I can lift the axle stands away and it'll lift it up with it, that's about it. Hey, hey.